Nigeria may be Africa's biggest economy, but Ebola is proving a challenge to its public health service. CCTV's Deji Badmas has more. Life on the streets of Lagos still appears normal. But some things are changing. That is how some people now greet, rather than shaking hands. This mother is applying hand sanitizer to her child to prevent him from picking up the virus. People are going the extra mile to try and protect themselves. I avoid and shaking unknown people to me. Even sitting in the public box, I'm taking care. And presently, I put on long sleeve shirts to afford contacts and sweating of other people when we are sitting in the public transports. For some, avoiding contact is difficult. We are operating in an open market system whereby touching or viewing a particular product the customer wants is allowed. So in this case now, based on the Ebola issue, we should always look for divine intervention. Officials are hoping the worst is now over. It's been 22 days since the first case of the Ebola virus was reported in Nigeria. And as we all know, the virus has a 21-day incubation period. But then some health experts are warning it just may not be time for the country to cheer. As we are moving gradually, at least we know we are getting up our hand. So we, based on what we have now, we know those that have exposures and we are monitoring their contacts too. Those are the secondary contacts. So we are counting the incubation period from that time too, not with the index. But authorities are setting up more isolation wards in case more infections are detected in the coming days. Deji Badmos, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.